This is the MIDI Fighter 3D, an awesome MIDI interface with really satisfying tactile arcade buttons. It's fantastic at controlling MIDI things like loops and kick samples, but I wanted something similar to control hotkeys on my computer. So I made this, the Macro Fighter, a DIY open source macro keyboard interface for your computer that has the same oh so satisfying arcade switches. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made it. Let's get started. How's it going guys, Angus here from Makers Muse. So before I begin this video, I want to mention the fact that I'm an industrial designer and I am very skilled at 3D modeling and designing for 3D printing, but I am terrible at code. It's just something I've never been very good at and I've been trying to push myself to do more projects with actual code, like based on Arduinos and that kind of thing. So I've been wanting a DIY macro keyboard for a very long time and I actually bought the MIDI Fighter years ago and I did have high hopes of using this to actually, you know, control hotkeys and things. But being a MIDI interface and device, it's not very easy to do. There is ways, but it's kind of hacky. And I've actually had these buttons for a very long time. These are Sanwa OBSF 24s. They are genuine Sanwa arcade buttons. And they have that really satisfying, <laughs> really satisfying click. But as I mentioned, I'm not skilled at coding. I, I really probably have a skill level of less than some sixth graders out there to be completely frank. So I went online to find if anyone had done something similar. There's a lot of DIY macro interfaces out there, but I settled on this one designed by David on, on his website, Parts Not Included. David made his own DIY stream deck and he's gone the route that I sort of researched would make the most sense using a Pro Micro and then adding the buttons to it. And his code is gorgeous, but I have no idea how to alter it, but we'll get more to that uh, at the end. So I fired up Fusion 360 and this is my first design. This is version one. I figured that a three x three grid, so nine buttons was enough for my use. I didn't need four x four, although I'm sure you could change this to make it more or less buttons regarding what you want for your situation. And I did some research into actually how to control uh, or emulate keyboard presses with an Arduino. And it turns out you can do it with an Arduino Pro Micro that's running a Mega 32U4, which can emulate the, the USB uh, input of a keyboard or mouse. They're also very cheap, which is fantastic in trying to keep the budget of this project low. The enclosure was 3D printed on the Prusa Mark III in some of their prototype, which is now released Prusa, uh, Prusament, however you pronounce it. Uh, I love the sort of black sparkly look to it. It's really clean with my logo on the front. And I designed it to have these M3 countersunk screws around it to hold it in place, but it turns out the top presses down so satisfyingly that it doesn't actually even need them. In terms of the buttons being pushed into place, I did a, a small initial test to make sure the hole and clearances were correct. And it leaves you with this very satisfying click as they get pushed into place. Mm. But that's what I'm good at. I'm good at designing things for 3D printing. What I'm not good at is figuring out how to wire an array of 3x3 buttons. And this is where I ran into my first hurdle. When I've used Arduino before, I've used a pull-down resistor which goes to the ground via a, a 10k ohm resistor. And some people were using them in their button interfaces and some people weren't. And I, I couldn't figure out why. Again, I'm very basic with this sort of stuff. Turns out that these modern Arduinos actually have an internal uh, resistor, which is, I think, a pull-up resistor. And you don't need an external one. But my wiring in here is absolutely disgusting. And it's a version one, I will make a better version, but I'm gonna show it to you now, just so you can understand and feel okay with the fact that even people like me on the internet who have a large following don't know everything. I know how to wire up combat robots, but when it comes to Arduino and programming, I am an absolute noob. So yeah, have a look at this monstrosity. The reason that the red is now marked with black is I went from using external resistors to using the internal ones to pull it up. Um, and therefore it just goes straight to ground. So they're all wired to ground via a wet red 
wire. Yeah, let's pretend that that doesn't exist and we'll never speak of it again. But with the top on, you wouldn't know that it looks horrible inside. And just for now, I have a micro USB cable connected to the uh, Pro Micro and I've hot glued it so it's a bit of strain relief. What I would like to do for the version 2 is order a micro to USB type B adapter, which do exist. They just come straight from China, so they take about three weeks. And therefore, you're going to get a really nice, more uh, durable USB connection like the actual MIDI Fighter 3D has. I'm actually really stoked with how the look of the device is. Like I said, you don't really need the countersunk M3s. It just seems to lock in place really well. And it's got the really nice interface. And I programmed it using David's code. Now I did get some help to modify it and hack it. So uh, instead of just sending single hotkeys like the, uh, the F, the function keys, I got it saying like test and sentences. However, it's hacked. And this is where I'm gonna pass things on to you guys. As I mentioned, I'm not skilled at coding and I'm okay with that. I'm learning as I go and you'll see progressively better projects on the channel with more integrated code. But I'm gonna put this design up. It's completely free and open source. You can go into the Fusion source files, modify it how you like and then program it. And please share your results with me if you do really cool things with it because you, you probably have a much better grasp at coding than I do. And I really love this interface concept for, you know, maybe you're gonna use it for a stream deck like David did for his awesome design, which you should go check out. Or maybe you can use it for macro keys in your favorite game, or maybe shortcuts, whatever you like. I really quite like the look of this. And this is a version one. So I'm gonna get your feedback guys. and I'm gonna make a version two and do an update. So if you did enjoy this video guys, please consider subscribing to Make His Muse. I am always learning and that is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. And I would love to have you on board. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye.